yo, like I had the worst shit happen. Like if it, like I probably would have been able to like keep posting her and not really think much of it. If not for this one thing is that there was one dude who took a screenshot from a TikTok that Lena made last October that was like on uh, her mom page. Right. And so we all got face paint done. I was Bert. My kid was the count and uh, Lena was Elmo. So all, yeah. all Sesame Street characters. And in the whole entire TikTok that's like a minute and a half long or whatever, there's like two seconds of her breastfeeding the kid, right? Well, some dude with half a million followers screenshotted the part with the breastfeeding, and then he took it and he posted it on Twitter, and he said, this is from the Plug Talk TikTok. Adam22 <laughs> and Lena posted their child on their porn account. This is what he said, even though, again, it was on her TikTok mom page. He said yeah. that it maybe got like 30,000 likes or whatever. So this was a relatively uh, successful tweet. And then I was talking about it, like just to, you know, obviously you could say like, well, anyone smart or anyone who really cares about it is going to look into it and figure out that that wasn't actually the truth. I would say that Destiny is somebody that I have a good relationship with. And I was talking to him on a podcast like a week later and I mentioned this exact thing and said how fucking annoying I thought it was. And Destiny goes, Oh, that wasn't true. He's like, oh, I saw that. I thought that that was true. And I'm like, what? Like, so at that moment was when I was like, oh, this 100%, we just can't post our kid anymore. Because even just giving anybody any tiny amount of ammunition like that, because like, I want my kid to have a normal life. And I, I feel like I work hard because I want my kid to have a normal life where she doesn't have to like, like all these families, like an ace family and shit, who just basically use their kids for content. Like, some people find it distasteful that we're out here having sex for content or whatever but for me i find i mean i'm so sick and tired of people acting like they're like so annoyed at adam 22 for making porn with his wife and shit and doing all types of shit with his wife it's like shut up dude it's like you act like you don't watch porn now you might not watch adam 22 porn or elena the plug porn but you watch porn regardless not act like you don't like niggas fucking and shit like oh you're this and that but you beat your meat to the worst shit at night who the fuck do you think you are? Everybody's sexual endeavors are their own, and it doesn't involve anybody else. Little threesomes, anything you have, doesn't matter to anybody. Shouldn't matter to anybody. Do you, bro? Now, once you disclose that information, we are allowed to judge you as we please, you fucking whore. But you can do whatever you want so long as you be quiet about it. I'm the whole family vlogger thing to be like significantly uh, more troublesome to me because I've seen the incentives and where that leads people and how people end up fucking like having their kids fight and making up weird drama between their kids and using the thumbnails that make it seem like their kid is in danger and shit like that. Like that's something that I don't want to fucking deal with at all. And I have a lot of respect for somebody like uh, Casey Neistat, who he used to make vlogs with his daughters in them. And I would watch them and thought that they were great. But then like at one point, I guess something, I don't know if anything really happened, but he just stopped posting his kid. And like once in a while, I'll have a clip in the vlog where you can see like the back of their head or some shit, but he doesn't actually post them. And this is a guy whose content is squeaky clean, but he does have a lot of eyeballs on him and potentially, you know, psychos and stalkers and shit like that could potentially be trying to do. This nigga Adam cannot wait. I mean, this nigga, uh, what's his name? DJ Academics. He cannot wait to talk. Look at him. He cannot wait to cut somebody off. The most annoying thing about Adam 22, I mean, fuck about DJ Academics is that he loves cutting off his guests. They cannot speak for 10, 15 seconds without him be like, oh, 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 okay, 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 but, 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 speaking like SQC and shit, just to get, just to cut in. Them. And this is a guy whose content is squeaky clean, but he does have a lot of eyeballs on him and potentially, you know, psychos. Just look at his face. He can't wait to jump in. He's like, <laughs> but he does have a lot of eyeballs on him and potentially, you know, psychos and stalkers and shit like that could potentially be trying to do something to him. So to me, it's like, as long as we're going to be doing risque shit in the public eye and in particular the fact i have nothing to gain from posting my kid online in fact like her being at preschool and shit like i want her to be anonymous like she got like some no jumper baby shirts the other day that my uh, sister made her and i was mm -hmm. just immediately like yo make sure she never wears these to school because yeah. it's like i'm not really trying to have my kid have her life colored any more than it has to be by my life experience now obviously at some point somebody's gonna be like hey your parents have sex on the internet um in a perfect world by the time she's old enough to really be dealing with that we won't even be doing that anymore i feel like i've talked to a lot of kids or not so not what adam is basically saying is that 
In less than 18 years, this porn shit should be over. Whatever this porn shit is should be completely over by the time she's old enough to really understand what's good. Kids, but like I've talked to a lot of people in the porn industry whose parents were in the porn industry as well. Do you think that when Adam 22's daughter grows up, that's when they'll divorce Lena and him? Or do you think it'll happen before him? Because in, in LA and Hollywood, that's it's not our business. Who cares? I mean, I'm just saying. Shit seems like it kind of gets passed down in some family lineages and not even like people who actually like do real deal porn, but like. I, I know a girl who does like a porn podcast and her mom was a porn photographer. So like neither of them ever did porn, but they're both kind of like just been in the adult business. Like they're fucking plumbers or some shit. But either way, like I'm not trying to have my kid be like exposed to that shit at all. And already I'm like super conscious of all the different ways. Like, like if we have a house party and Sky Bree and Angela White are standing there talking and my kid goes over and stands next to him, it's like, if, if somebody takes a photo of my kid standing next to two porn stars, what's the immediate viral quote tweet that everybody is going to fucking jump on is just going to be, oh, look at them grooming her for this fucking for her future career or some shit like that. So from from my perspective, it's like, all right, I'm just going to make I'm going to make all this way easier and just be like, all right, your whole life is a secret until you get to the point where you can kind of like make some level of decision about if you want to be in the public eye or not you know isn't it too late though and i, I guess you know ultimately i, I want to is it too late yeah because when your daughter grows up would i still recognize well i don't know because if she's a kid now if she grows up would i really like recognize her <laughs>